Hello guys, my name is Satya and I welcome you all to Urban School Simulation Services. In this video, I am going to introduce you about cell balancing. We know that with the economic and the environmental factors tilting heavily in favor of electric vehicles, but still the limitation of today's battery technologies remains the largest speed bump in the road to their widespread adoption. Even the best lithium ion battery causes the difference in the cell voltage and capacity and that can dramatically affect the overall performance and service life of multi-cell stack. So what is cell balancing? Well, cell balancing refers to the techniques which are used to maximize the capacity of a battery pack with the multiple cells connected in series. In this figure we have four cells with different SOCs are connected in series. The cell with the minimum SOC is the weakest point of this stack. When charging, the stack will keep getting charged till the point where the cell with the minimum SOC is not fully charged. So the other cell will get overcharged which can hamper the lifespan of this cell stack. So why do we need the cell balancing? Well like snowflakes, no two lithium ion cells are exactly the same. Cell voltage can vary widely. When assembled in series configuration, these differences only allow the stack to be charged until the weakest point is fully charged and that can drive the fully charged cell into an over voltage condition causing the heating damage and in some cases even fire. To make the matter worse, the variation between the cell widen as the battery ages causing the greater loss in the capacity and service life. As the battery ages, the average capacity of their individual cell decline when the capacity variation between the cells grows. Balancing techniques Balancing can be active or passive. The term battery regulator typically refers to the device that performs the passive balancing. In the passive balancing, energy is drawn from the most charged cell and is wasted as heat, usually through registers. In active balancing, energy is drawn from most charged cell and transferred to the least charged cell, usually through the DC to DC converter. Battery balancing can be performed by DC DC converter in one of the three topologies cell to battery, battery to cell, or bidirectional. Thanks a lot for watching the video. In the next video, I am going to demonstrate the simulation of active and passive balancing in MATLAB.